Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. It's Marion Wallace with Restoring Ghettos Forgotten. And I am the authoress of Ghettos Forgotten Daughters, the book. And that book is based off of, it's a testimonial. And it also just kind of highlights how um, we can overcome in, in whatever situation that we may be facing or going through at the moment or you know just life in general that you can overcome so that's why that book was written and um, it just kind of tells my story on the things that I've, I've been through and and how with the help of um, God my grandmother and the people that loved and supported me how I got through some of the toughest moments in life um, so with that being said, I have a little conversational piece today and it's about being respectable, you know, if you disagree with someone. Being respectable, and I had to pull over because I'm on my way to the office. I, I'm just coming from the gym and I have a full day today because um, yesterday was my 19 year old Sierra's birthday and today she's having a little party and so I gotta go help her get ready for that um, but I didn't want to neglect and not uh, shoot a video <sighs> here we go this topic is about uh, being respectful while you disagree with someone and we can all always respectfully disagree with people but What's been going on lately is that people are getting downright irate and upset and then they start um, insulting the people that they don't agree with. And what I like about this world is that we're in this big old melting pot and we're different nationalities, races, religions, and we all have different upbringings. And I think we all have something great to bring to the table. And because of, because of the differences, that's what makes to me life so much more interesting. Because if I was in a world where everybody thought the same way, behaved the same way, was the same way, I would, I would be bored out of my mind. But being different is what makes life interesting and it makes it, um, you know, we learn about different cultures, different races, you know, different things of, you know, just being in this big old melting pot. It, I just, I love it personally. I love all different types of people from all different types of backgrounds. And uh, just because a person was brought up one way and they have this certain ideology, it doesn't make them stupid or a fool or ignorant or anything like that. It's just that they think differently. But I feel like as long as we get to the same result, it doesn't matter what our belief, our belief system is or how we think or feel, as long as we get to that same result. Um, but what I'm noticing is, is a lot of people are attacking people uh, that have decided not to take the COVID-19 vaccine. I get it, uh, the politicians, uh, they even got the, the preachers and the ministers and, and all the people that are supposed to be the head uh, telling the community to take the COVID-19 vaccine. Now, me personally, I have decided, me and my family, that we're not gonna take it. But because we are not gonna take it, we're gonna be that much more cautious around other people because we wanna be responsible um, to make sure we're protecting ourselves and other people as well. So. If I'm still going to social distance, which we do, if I'm still going to wear my mask, which I just got this little cute one um, the other day, me and my family, we're going to continue wearing our mask. We're going to continue using our sanitizer. Look, I got this in a white rain bottle. <laughs> I'm so frugal. <laughs> but it's actually sanitizer inside of here. And uh, I, I bought a lot of like little white rain bottles because I couldn't find bottles when COVID first started. And so I bought, a, I bought a lot of these at the dollar store and I emptied them out and I poured the liquid sanitizer in them and I gave them to everybody in my household. So we, we still have sanitizer from last year. Um, so we're gonna continue to do the sanitizer. We're gonna continue to do the mask. We're gonna continue to social distance. Uh, we're not gonna have big gatherings at our home. We're not gonna go to big you know, gatherings. We're gonna do the best that we can to protect ourselves and others. But just because I stand on the belief that I am not gonna be vaccinated by the COVID-19 vaccine doesn't make me ignorant 
to what's going on in the world. It doesn't mean I don't have compassion for all the people that lost their lives. I think that that's horrible and I pray for their families and I lift their families up, people that are losing people. I'm very compassionate and very loving and I'm also a prayer war warrior. So I'm in my prayer closet praying for people that are ill and sick and all of these things. So I care about our community and communities. It's not just about the African-American community, it's about everybody. So, but I don't feel like the people that have decided not to take the COVID-19 vaccine should be, um, you know, insulted. Because basically that's what's happening. But um, like the governor said, it's a, it's a personal freedom. I choose to exercise my rights and my freedoms of not inoculating my myself or my family. That's a personal choice that we've decided not to do. Uh, and But people are going around really, really, I mean, arguments are happening on social media every day. I'm trying to stay off of there. That's probably why I haven't made a video. I try to limit my time on social media, but every once in a while I'll peek in and, I, and then I'll realize, okay, it's been five minutes, I need to get off of here, or it's been 10 minutes. I try not to go over 10 minutes on social media and I try not to be on there you know, all the time. Because, really, I can't be because I'm too busy. Um, but what I'm seeing is the people that have decided not to, boy, are we catching it. We are catching it from everybody. And I'm gonna tell you like this, I don't care if you have been vaccinated twice, you can go do it for 10 times all I care. That's your personal freedom, that's your personal choice. I'm not gonna call you a fool and I'm not gonna talk down on you because I respect you and I respect your choices. But what's happening is the people that have decided not to take it are being disrespected, ridiculed, and talked about. And it's just so immature. And I'm like, I can't believe, okay, first of all, this is Facebook, where I see the most of it happening. And I'm like, from my my um, millennials or my younger children, they say Facebook is for old people. So for us old people to be uh, belittling each other and being ignorant on, on social media is just a disgrace. It's disgusting even. I'm like, have we grown up? Are we just a bunch of big children, you know, mimicking adulthood? I'm trying to figure this out because I'm under understanding it. And um, so this video is basically to encourage people that have decided to um, go the, like they say, the road less traveled, be encouraged understand that you do have personal rights and personal freedoms that you can uh, exercise and just be respectful and just be mindful of the people around you. Like if I know that my elderly people maybe have not been vaccinated yet and I, you know, um, and I know that they haven't been vaccinated yet and I'm gonna stay away from them. I'm not gonna go to their home. I'm not gonna visit them. I'm gonna stay away because I want to protect them because I have decided personally that I'm not going to get the vaccination but it's one of the reasons why I eat well I watch what I you know I try to watch what I put in my body I'm not perfect <clears throat> but I eat well and I exercise I try to exercise at least three four times a week so I'm trying to strengthen my immune system I take vitamin D uh, I take my multivitamins and I also got uh, my son, my youngest son, he's taking vitamin D along with me. So we're, we're on a daily regimen. And so we're getting sun, we're getting sunlight. We're, we're not um, living in fear. So I can, you know, I, I just encourage everybody to not live in fear, you guys. I know there are variants of the COVID-19 uh, virus out there. First of all, it's a man-made virus. So I don't really trust the people that are making it point blank period you can call me ignorant you can tell me it's safe i don't care i don't trust the people that make that made it because because first of all the the virus itself is man-made so <laughs> I, i'm good i'm gonna take my chances but that doesn't mean i'm foolish or stupid i am being precautious you know i'm being precautious um so you know i just want to encourage other people that you know we can't live in fear you know, and, and I understand there are healthcare workers that, that are around so many sick, sick people every day, all day. You know, they may have to take the vaccination for their job or just for uh, feeling of safety or security. 
but I'm not around a whole bunch of lot, you know, a whole bunch of sick people. I'm not, you know, in that work environment, so I don't see why I would have to take it. I mean, I have two children that have went back to school. Um, they have kids testing positive. Whenever they have a kid test positive, they alert the parents. They send us a, a letter, an email, and let us know that a child has test positive for COVID-19 and everybody that was in contact with that child have been, has been notified so that they can, um, you know, they can either go be tested or they can, um, what do you call it? When you have to stay inside, it, it's, it escapes me right now. But uh, kind of social distance all by themselves uh, for like 10 days or whatever, maybe it's seven days now, or take the test uh, to see if they have it. And so that's the precautions that they're taking at the schools. And it's, to me, it's working because my son, one time he got allergies, because we have allergies in our family. So one time my son got allergies really, really bad and I was kind of nervous. I said, well, okay, let me go test him. And he was negative. One time I got allergies really bad and I went and got tested and I was negative. So all these tests were taken were coming up negative. I don't see why I, you know, I have to subject myself to you know, putting these this foreign vaccine inside my body if we're kind of doing okay right now. And so that's where we are. And for all the people that have decided not to take the vaccine, I just say be uh, responsible, you know, for the people around you. Don't just go and say, okay, I'm not taking a vaccine and, and then you're not wearing your mask, you're not sanitizing and you all in everybody's face. To me, that's irresponsible. And it's kind of disrespectful and it's uncaring. To, uh, to others so if you have decided not to do that then make sure you're wearing your mask and you're using your sanitizer and you you keep your social distancing you know from strangers or whatever because you can't do that at, at home but from so strangers you're doing that and you're being respectable of other people's choices so this video is really kind of about both it's about um, you know being respectful um, to disagree with people. You can respectfully disagree with someone and still be cool with them and still be in rela right relationship with them because you respect them. But once you start thinking your beliefs are the only beliefs that matter and you start looking down on people, that's when you're not in a good uh, space, if you don't mind me saying so. And you need to check that behavior because you will be checked. The first person that run up on me and try to check me about my personal choices will be checked, period. Because I have my, I mean, we have people that have fought for our freedoms, our personal choices, our personal freedoms. And now you're gonna have a politician come up and tell me that I have to take a vaccination? No, F you and your political schemes or whatever you, go, you got going on, whatever you, what kind of kickback you getting back, I don't need it. I mean, we, we decided not to do it. Go take that somewhere else with somebody that want to do it. That personally has made that choice to do it. There are people that personally that ha has not made that choice. They are exercising their rights. They're protecting other people. Um, so that's it. So again, this video is just saying, look, it's all good if you find your peace and your comfort in knowing that you have the vaccination and that you're gonna be safe now. I applaud you, I'm happy for you. That's where you get your peace. I want you to be, to feel safe. I want you to feel secure. But there are people that don't wanna go that route. And that's okay too, as long as they're being responsible. So can we all come together as our communities come together and respectfully disagree? That's all this, this, this um, video is about. I'm encouraging other people that have decided not to take it to stay the course, but be responsible. I'm encouraging the people that has taken it, then why don't you find security in the fact that you've taken it and you don't have to be so cautious? Because I'm trying to understand why are you guys so upset if you're taking all of your vaccine doses uh, and, and people haven't. So then you're like, oh my God, you, I can't believe you haven't taken it. But haven't you taken yours? So that means you're protected, right? Oh, I'm sorry. That doesn't mean you're protected. So you mean to tell me, they're telling me that even though I take the two vac vaccinations, I can still catch COVID. Okay, hmm, let me think about this. Hmm, 
if I can still catch COVID, even though I, I take this vaccination that I don't know what's in it, should I do it? And then my answer was no. Because if I still have a chance of catching COVID and fighting it off or whatever, then I don't need this vaccination because there's a possible chance that I can still catch it. <laughs> so that's just my reasoning. So I'm going to let you guys go. Stay encouraged. Uh, I appreciate you all. If you haven't done so, um, I'm going to upload this to um, upload this to YouTube. Click and subscribe. I know I don't have a lot of content, y'all, but I, I'm trying to get there. Um, if you follow Rick, then just you'll see a lot of my videos on his channel. So you can go over there and see if there's more content over there. But I appreciate you all. Uh, again, uh, if you haven't um, purchased my book, it's called Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters. It's a testimonial. It's meant to encourage people that may have grown up in some of the most impossible situations. Um, and it just shows how you can go from that space all the way up to a more positive light and a more positive space. And God gets the glory because now you're this shiny piece of gold coin that but at the beginning you were like this little dirty rock and so that's what this book is about is to encourage people I love to encourage you know the people that are the black sheep the misfits you know the people that have possibly uh, been tossed aside you know the people that are in the margins of the world though that's the people that I want to reach so uh, if you haven't gotten the book, it's called Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters. You can go on Amazon and purchase it, or you can purchase it on my website. And uh, the website is um, ghettosforgottendaughters.com and purchase the book. Be blessed. Be encouraged. I love you guys. Stay positive. Because, you know, I always say stay positive because you never know where somebody is. And so if you disagree with somebody you don't have to beat them down because you don't know where they are at at that point in their lives i always say be kind kindness doesn't cost us anything actually it kind of makes us feel better about ourselves and it you know it makes other people feel good it makes you feel good it's all good vibes it's all positive light it's all positive energy and it's edifying god it's glorifying god because god is within us he is all power he is all knowledge and so let's walk in that power. Let's understand our strengths. And we also have to recognize our, weak, our weaknesses. But let's focus more on the strengths. And let's focus on being kind to, kinder to each other. Because you never know, that one person that you say that mean, vulgar word to could be on the cusp of hurting themselves or giving up on life. And I think I made this, this um, I think I made this comment before on one of my videos and somebody could have misunderstood me but I just try to I try to relate to the people that may because I ha I am one person because I been through so much trauma in my life at the early age of I think I was around seven years old I contemplated committing suicide and I did it more than once uh, it doesn't make me crazy it makes me human because I was broken and I was hurting and I just wanted the pain to end. Now with me saying that I contemplated suicide and I had I went through counseling because I had a lot of trauma I had to work through. I am not on any medication, but if I was, that would still be okay because I am dealing with my traumas. I'm dealing with healing myself. It doesn't mean because a person is on medication that they're a misfit or they th they're thrown away. It means they're take they may be taking charge of their mental health. Uh, somebody made a, a comment about being on meds. Uh, no, darling, no, sweetie pie. This one right here, God has blessed me, and I'm not. This is not me. Well, I I may be, but we kind of brag a little bit differently. Many people brag about all the financial success and well beings. I'm going to brag about how God healed me and restored me and redeemed my life. And one of those things he did was he gave me my mental health back. So, no, I'm not on any kind of medication. I don't take any medic medicine for my body. Uh, the only pills I take every day is my vitamin D and my multivitamins. So, I just wanted to clear that up. 
And that's a little bit of my ego speaking right now. We all got to have a little bit of ego, but sometimes you got to check people that think they know you. No, you know little bitty parts that I've told you. You don't know me in my totality. I don't know if, no, if one human being on this planet could honestly say they know me in my totality. I don't know one. Because I'm steady growing and I'm evolving. Each year, God is pruning me and he's purging me and I'm growing. I'm in a state of progression. So I'm a different person maybe every year. I'm a, diff I'm a little bit more different. So you're gonna always be learning me and I wanna always be learning the people around me. I want us to grow, I want us to evolve, I want us to change. I, I, I love progression, I love moving forward. So I wanted to throw that out there. That's a little bit of um, what they call it, shade, if you, if you will. Because God has been good to this one. I've been through hell and high water uh, and I ain't gonna say I don't look like it because you know beauty is in the eye of the beholder But I, I'm gonna praise God anyway because I know where I could be and where I'm not. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Woo! Y'all gonna make me start shouting in here because if you knew my whole story my true story I shouldn't be sitting here today encouraging nobody I should be in a mental institution and I'm not I'm in my right mind and I am going to praise the Lord and I'm going to sing his praises until the end of my day. Now, I encourage people right now today, regardless of how you think or your choices, nobody has a right to disrespect you because you think differently than them. And I applaud everybody that stands out of the crowd. I've never been a person to follow the crowd. Never. My whole life. Even in my trauma, even in my brokenness, I didn't follow the crowd. And I'm not going to start now. And I challenge other people to do something different. Set this world on fire. Be different. Don't be like everybody else. Because a person that's like everybody else is going to accomplish everybody else's stuff. You want to be different. You want to be a trailblazer. You want to set this world on fire. You can't do that being like everybody else. It's something going to have to be different about you. So that that will edify God in you. That's what's important. I wish you all the best this life has to offer. I want you to understand that God only wants the best for you. If you're in a situation right now today and it's not God's best, I encourage you to move away and walk away from that situation because you are not walking in God's best if you're always hurting, if you're always crying, if you're always worrying. That's not God's best. God wants the best for you. He wants you to have peace power clarity knowledge and understanding and so remember that if you ever need to make a decision about something that's hurting you remember that god would not put you here on this earth to suffer your whole life regardless of how religion has been taught to you okay i love you guys i appreciate any of you that has taken the time to watch this video i gotta go um stay encouraged stay positive let your light shine within all of this darkness because there's a lot of darkness in the world today let you be that illuminating light because you're going to be different bye bye take care